We're asking for 350% of a number, of course it's going to be more than the number itself. 100% of 80 is 80. So 350% is going to be over 3 times 80. Really this is asking you to multiply 80 times 350. One way we can approach that, a pretty standard way, is if we uh, convert 350% into a decimal, this becomes 80 times 3.5. Doing that multiplication, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 8 is 40, and then I'm going to go down, I start with a 0, 3 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 8 is 24, so I get 2, 8, 0, 0, and because I have 1 decimal place in the original, I'm going to have 1 down here, and it's 280. Essentially, I converted the percent to a decimal, and then I multiplied. That's a pretty standard way you can do it on any of them. But for something like this, I would probably do it mentally. I would think to myself, well, 300% of 80 is equal to 3 times, which is equal to 240. So 300% of 80 is, two uh, is 240. And then we also have 50% of 80. 50% is simply half. So 50% of 80 is 40. 300% is 240. 50% is 40. So then when I add them to get 280. So what I did over here, I would tend to do this just in my head. I'm just writing out kind of what I would do in my head to think this problem through. I can always just do the convert and multiply technique. But sometimes there's easier ways to do it if you kind of break it down into pieces and think about each individual piece, which is not that hard to calculate on its own. It's not hard to do 3 times 80, and it's not hard to do 50% of 80, or to add those two together. Hopefully that helps and gets you thinking about ways to take percents uh, and to do them in your head. Thank you.